Hi, it's me, Van. And time for another, you guessed it, bonus video. Now, as you guessed, I don't normally make videos on Tuesday. But, I'm going to make an exception. And the reason I'm making an exception is because, you guessed it, the holiday season. We did a fashion frame for our frost that we're wearing, as well as, you know, the frost success, I mean, the weapons we have on, blah, blah, blah. We did a fashion frame for the Lasset, both interior and outerior of the Lasset. Now, we're going to do a fashion frame on the operator herself or himself, whichever gender your operator is. My operator just happened to be a female because that's what I chose. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into it. But for the skin color, you know, you can choose whatever skin color you want, but I stuck to I believe it doesn't really show per se, does it? Something along, yeah, I believe this is it right here. You can go lighter if you want or darker if you want. It's, you know, all personal preference. As soon as you got that, you can pick the lip color. I was going to go with green, because green isn't bad, but I chose red, because I'm just, I don't know, that's just something I picked. Accent color, I did not do an accent color. You can choose an accent color if you really want, but, you know, and as you know, hairstyles, completely up to you. This doesn't look too shabby. You know, a different hair tire. These hair tires cost money, mind you, so you might want to keep that in mind. But then again, the one I have on currently cost some money as well. This hair tire looks okay. This, I like this hair tire quite a bit. But yeah. The one I have on is currently this, which costs money again. If you don't want one that costs money, this might be more up your alley. But I'm going to stick with this because that's just how I like it. That's just me though. And then, you know, for hair color, I chose this green. For highlight, I chose this red, but, you know, you can change it to a, ah, bloody, I think I accidentally changed it to another red. Let me go back in there, see about that. Yeah, whatever you choose is up to you, but this is the red I chose, so this is the red I'm sticking. Markings, not markings, you know, personal preference. You can choose to color the markings if you really want, but I did them for reasons. You can change the metallic color to anything you want, but again, I did them because it makes it look a little too cartoony in my opinion. Now, the eyes, for outer I chose red, inner I chose green, I glow, I chose, um, for the eye glow I chose green, but for the eye glow I chose the infested green, so you can definitely see where it separates. For the inner eye I chose saturated dark green. I could have chose something else, make it more festive, but you know, I like the way this turned out 
quite a bit. And the, yeah, there you go. My voice line, one of the things that make her female accessories. I did not pick accessories, but to be honest, you probably could go with accessories, no problem, if that's what you want. So yeah, it's entirely up to you what you do with that. Now, for the transference suit, now, these suits actually might cost you something. For the hood, I chose co Cobra Hood. And then, of course, you want to keep the hood open, otherwise there's no point in doing the hair face and all that. Lining color, of course, I chose it from the infected palette, this green. And then for the actual suit, I chose Prime Suit, but I guess if you really want to, you could do some other suits. I mean, and that's how it looks with no suit, if that's your cup of tea. But yeah, I bought um, the Valkyrie Prime Accent. No, not access, accessories. I don't ever buy the access, but I bought the accessory this time and it came with a prime suit. The accessories pack is still on sale if that's what you want. If you want to know what comes in the accessories pack, I'll post the link in the description below. But I digress. Let's move on. The Manka Manduka sleeves. I actually just bought these for this outfit the other day. Because, you know, you could go no sleeves if you want. And hey, if you don't have the money to get any sleeves, this looks perfectly fine. As far as I'm concerned. But, you know. And then there's this. This if you really want. This doesn't look bad at all, but I like the the best for it. That's just my personal preference. Leggings. For leggings, again, you can go no legs at all. It's perfectly fine if you don't want to go with any legs. But for leggings, I chose the Varada leggings? I mean, they're technically these I could have chose very Christmas, Christmassy, right? I could have chose these. These, it look kind of like a watermelon. These, eh, ah, just no. But these, these I like the best. It screams like battle. Battle armor Christmas type stuff, you know, it's not all, I mean sure, this is fine, but I like this the best. This is okay, but too much like the original for my taste. So yeah, that's what I chose for that. And then everyone who's on the game currently should have got the Solstice Sigil for free because of the simple fact that, you know, it's the charity event thing that's going on. Everyone gets rewards at different levels. I'll actually post the link in the description to the video I have, you know, explaining about the charity event, the gifting for charity thing that's currently going on in Warframe from now until January 4th. Um, and yeah, basically I chose the solstice at the end because I think this thing looks like a tie and 
I just like it like that. Unfortunately, the green kind of, um, until it's red, you can't really see it much because, you know, it's whatever energy color, or I say energy color, you have on your operator. So, you know, ideally I could put it down a bit lower, but you know, I like it here because it's like, hey, what's that on your tie? Wait, that's not a tie. Is it a tie? Okay, but yeah, anyway, I digress. That is what I chose for the operator in the next part. It's an absolute spoiler if you haven't played The War Within. What we're going to do is we're going to see what it looks like on my operator while my operator is standing up. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the, let's go into a more light area. This is how you will look when other people see you while you're walking around. This is your face. This is your hair. This is your suit. This is everything. Actually, there's one more thing you can see if you want, which is how you look on the big map thing. Not everyone knows this, but you can actually you know, do stuff as an operator. So, if I click on this big map thingy, you see me there. That's how I am. Now ignore the Christmas tree thing, it's a little messed up currently on um, the big world map thingy, but other than that, look. You see my Christmassy hair. You see everything. Looks pretty cool, right? And yeah, with that, I'm going to end the video here. Happy holidays, everyone.